If you are looking to install the latest version of Microsoft Windows in your macOS for completely free, then this video is for you. Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and you are watching Technoholic. In this video, we will see how we can install the latest version of Microsoft Windows 11 in Mac Mini, Mac Studio, MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing here we need to do is we need to install a VMware Fusion Pro. If you want to know how to install it, VMware Fusion Pro is a completely free software and free software doesn't mean that we need to compromise with any kind of performance. I would say it is on par in terms of performance with any premium or paid software available in macOS. So if you also want to know how you can download and install it, then check out the video that I have created on how we can download and install VMware Fusion for completely free in macOS. Now let's come back to our point of installing Windows 11 in macOS. For that, let's click here on this VMware icon. Now let me click here on create a new virtual machine. Now let's say if you already have custom image of Microsoft Windows downloaded, then you can click here on create a custom virtual machine and then click on continue. And then from here we can choose Windows 11 64 bit and then here we will select firmware and then we will keep on continuing this. Now in this particular case, what I will do is I will ask VMware itself to download Windows from Microsoft. Now after selecting this option, let's click here on continue. And now let's again click on continue. And then from here, we need to choose our Microsoft Windows edition. And then let's click on download Windows. So what this option will do is this will download Microsoft Windows 11 ISO directly from Microsoft. So this will make your process more hassle free as you even do not need to download Microsoft Windows. So let's wait for the process to get completed as the windows size will be around 4 to 5 gigabyte so the downloading will take some time based on your internet speed so let's wait for the process of downloading get completed while windows 11 is getting downloaded for any reason let's say you would like to download it separately then um, you can go to browser and then you can type download windows 11 on iso Okay. So from this link, we will able to download Windows for ARM. Now let me quickly close it. And there we go. Here we can see we have downloaded the content. Now VMware is creating Windows 11 ISO file. And there we go. Here we can see the message which says Windows 11 ISO created and is placed at following location. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on continue and then let's select UEFI secure boot. And then here we need to create password. So let me quickly create password here. And then let's click here on continue. Now from here, you need to select first option, which is create a new virtual disk. And then let's click again on continue. Now, before we finalize, let's click here on customize setting. And then here you can customize settings based on your need. Let's say you want to increase the amount of memory. You can do that. After making all the changes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on play button. And now here we need to press any button to boot from the ISO file. Now the process of Microsoft Windows installation is straightforward. I would say here we need to select the language that we want to install and then uh, keyboard type. Let's click on next here, then install now. Now here, if you have product key, you can enter it or else you can click on I don't have product key. Now from here, you can select the OS variant that you want to install. Now after accepting Microsoft license term, let's click here on next and then click on custom install and again click on next. 
and there we go guys now let's wait for the installation to get completed now most of this part is automated so let's wait for the while for the process to get completed rebooting now after a long automated installation here we need to choose our country and region i'm gonna choose my country here and then the type of keyboard that i use and if i want to add second layout i'm gonna skip it Now I'm going to give it a name, for example, Win11 Mac M2, Win11 Mac. Now let's click here on next. Seems like I cannot add space. So I'm going to add this hyphen here and then let's again click on next. Now here we need to choose how would we like to set up this device. So in my particular case, I'm going to use it for my personal use. I'm going to select it as setup for personal use. If let's say you are using it for office or school, you can go with the second option. Now let's again click on next. And then here you can sign in. I'm going to sign in with my Microsoft account. But let's say if in case you do not have then we can click on create new and then here you can sign up you can also sign up using your existing id and in this way guys we will able to create account now let me quickly sign into this account here and if you also own pc then you also have this option to restore from pc or else you can set up it as new pc set up pin as per your convenience now here i would say it is completely up to you what kind of setting you want to enable or disable so i turned my location off and then i also want to turn off diagnostic data now i'm gonna click on accept then again it's up to you if you want to let microsoft know for what purpose you're going to use this pc now after you know either skipping or checking some of these items we can further proceed ahead now here it is more of linking to pc i'm gonna skip this part now again for onedrive you can skip it or you can you know either choose it now here also you can click on not now And finally, we have successfully installed the latest Microsoft Windows 11 in Mac OS. Now, let me go here in setting. And now, um, let me look for the display setting. And then from here, I can change my resolution to the native resolution of my monitor. And now, let me click on keep changes. And in this way guys we have successfully installed the latest os from microsoft for free i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and if you have got any kind of questions or doubt in your mind please do let us know in comment down below and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye